welcome back. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit. We've played a few other games. We're coming back. Hopefully I can remember how this game played. Uh, this is our third playthrough, and hopefully this time we'll make it further than we did the last two times. Um, so I know that title screen was a bit loud, but yeah. Oops. <laughs> like I said, I've forgotten where we were in the game. We had just completed learning uh, the basic vowels, characters, and then had started to learn uh, the K sounds and G sounds for characters. And that's a terrible way to describe it, but, you know, we're new to the game. It's okay. Hey, I'm waiting for Misaki to teach me. Okay. Uh, what's your deal? Z, Z, Z. Alright. Alright, can I, like, look inside these pots? Or vases? Yeah, we got two things. Someone put it here on purpose. We may feel kind of bad for taking it. Nice. Alright. Can't find the money I hid in the vase. Where did it go? That was my entire life savings. Oh no. Wait. Really? We don't even have an option to give it back to them. After having taken... Okay, whatever. Wow, and we have a talking dog. Nice. It's not the wisest dog, but he can teach us a few tricks. Oh. Okay. Man. Alright, she doesn't... My daughter keeps learning new words at school, but she doesn't apply herself long enough to learn the meaning of the words. If I could relive my education, I'd make sure I learned all I possibly could. Okay, whatever. Wow. Nameless old man. Mm-hmm. Alright. I don't know who this is supposed to appeal to, honestly. Okay, and then this person's still cleaning up the mess from that magician. I guess his name was Nobro? Or something like that? Hey, alright. So we're supposed to look around? I don't, re I don't understand what we're looking around for. But maybe we're supposed to like go in the inn or something. Um, welcome. Ever since dangerous Hiragana warriors started roaming the land. I have set up shop in this village, selling weapons and armor. Alright. Yep. Ooh. Alright. Uh, we got 12, 10 things. Including the two we just took out of that. Ooh, Ramuna. Ah, that's not how you say that. It's the fizzy drink. It's very sweet. Um... Well, we could afford a heavy wooden sword for training. For Misaki. Wait. I don't even know who my party members are at this point. Uh, be sure to equip any of them. Use the escape key to equip. Oh, here's my party. Do I have anything equipped at all? Alright, we've got a bamboo sword. Leather vest, pot lid. Everybody's got something equipped, right? Alright, this person has no accessory, but I think that's fine. Whatever. Thank you. Um, yeah, should we check out this building? Looks like some uh, food court. Are you a chef or something? He likes food. He's waiting for Misaki to teach about cu Japanese cuisine. Alright. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we were about to, like, take this nice break or something before going on to the next village. Hello, I speak good English. I don't know, do you speak, like, the Queen's English or just, like, American English? You could, you would never guess that I was born in a non-English speaking country. What does that even mean? Like, a country, sure, that's kind of like a culture or a group of people, something like that, but... Alright, he practices hard. Sometimes he practices twice. 
Or, I'm sorry, he practices English every day. Sometimes I practice twice. Yeah. He's definitely got an American uh, way of speaking. I uh, like refreshing drinks. Miss Misaki said she'll teach him about delicious Japanese beverages. Really? Actually, I was about to say that narrows it down a lot, but I don't know if it does. I actually want to learn more. Now I'm curious. Um, Alright, this game is a bit noisy. I'm going to turn my speakers down just a touch. Uh, some people in this world will tell you you can't do something or another. To those people, all you need to say, yeah, I'll do it. Your words are only as good as your actions. Do your best and succeed, where others say oh, you will fail. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Alright. And then we had the inn. And you look like you're having a pizza. Wait. Okay, this pizza is all he has left in the world. Wow. That's so profound. Wait, he's got like five sixths of a pizza right there, which is the last slice, and he dropped it. Uh, whatever. Um, hello, Whipper Snapper. All right. Well, at least the dialogue's okay. All right, I'm barging in. What's your deal? <laughs> well, here's a character with character. How about that? Alright, so is he a sailor? No, he's just a humble merchant from the swamp. Wait, I don't remember seeing a swamp around here. Alright, what's your deal? Yeah, I mean, you're the hotel clerk, but, or the inn clerk. No, we're not staying. Bye. Alright. Alright, so Misaki, this is the village you want us to protect, eh? Also, what's your deal? Z, Z, Z. Alright, well. What would we like to do? Actually, yeah, let's review our lessons from last time. Um. Okay, let's review Vera, our lesson 01 and lesson 02. So, lesson 1, we learned the first five hiragana characters, which were the short vowels A, E, U, E, O. And this is what they looked like, in case you've forgotten, because I know I have. Um, so, we pronounce this A uh, as a short vowel. We practice writing it. And the way we write it is we do the stroke across, this stroke down, and this stroke around and over. And that's the A uh, uh, short vowel. Alright. I practice writing it again. And there we go. Yeah, we're learning Japanese to survive. All right, now let's uh, continue lesson one. E. This is E. E. Let's practice writing it again. So go down and stroke two, and that's E. There's the left stroke, and then the right stroke. And you know, this is a bit curved. Um, uh, the first line is slightly longer, and both lines are slightly curved. Alright, this is U. Let's write it. So we do the top stroke, and then the bottom curve. And this is U. This is the top, this is the bottom. Alright, continue. Next e. character, this is E. E. Or E. So, E, we do the top, and then we do this really long diagonal stroke. It's kind of like a Z, but not really. Top stroke, bottom up, down, and around. 
There we go. That's it. This is all. Oh. Alright, let's write it down. Do the top of the side stroke. Yeah, this side and then this down. Continuing over here. And then stroke three. Alright, one more time. Cross. Down. And around. There we go, oh, and then this third stroke. Let's practice it. Alright, the vertical line is left of the character, not in the center. This is all. A, I, U, E, O. Alright, and then this brings us to the end of lesson one. Nice. Alright, and then uh, let's review lesson two. The Uragana lesson two, the Ka. Alright, the, these are the, our next characters that we learned. Ka, Ke, Ku, Ke, Ko. Uh, we put a hard K in front. And let's try it again. So these characters are very commonly used in Japanese, since each character represents a syllable. Instead of a single letter, you can form full uh, words quite quickly. Yeah, so I'm actually kind of curious. The average character count in a Japanese word versus the average character count, say, in any word in a sentence. Um, although these are very long words for English, and quite a few words in English are shorter than this. But, yeah. I think I get the point, though. You don't need a whole lot of characters to make a word. This is ka. ka. Let's practice writing ka. Across and down. Stroke two down. Stroke three to the right. This is ka. Once more. And this is how we form ka. Uh, it takes three strokes. And this seems, yeah, like this is angled, this is angled, yeah. Should draw the character in three separate strokes. Be careful how the lines tilt. Make sure to put the third stroke in the correct place. Next key. character, this is key. Key. Let's practice writing key. Stroke one across, stroke two across, stroke three down, and either continue it or make a fourth stroke. One across, two across, three down, and around. And that's key. Alright, continue. K this is ku. Uh, Alright, pronounce it ku. Let's practice writing ku. Looks really easy to write. One stroke. Just down left, down right. Looks kind of like the less than symbol. The upper and lower half are the same length. K. This is K. K. Alright, left stroke. Across and down. All right, um, left stroke, and then on the right we have a stroke across that's disconnected from the left. But otherwise it's shaped like an H, but these are not connected strokes. Uh, the third one is longer, and look at how it curves and such. This is K. Next character is Ko. Let's practice writing Ko again. Pardon me. Top stroke, bottom stroke. That is ko. Ko. I forget how we... Isn't ko also like a number or something? From... Uh, we've heard from Shogi. I could be mistaken. These are all quite commonly used, so be sure to memorize them. 
what would you think? Yeah. All right. And then we add the Dakuten to learn uh, the G series. Nice. So Na. this is Ga. Na. Uh, okay. And then our next. Ye. Oh. And then this is Gi. Ye. We practiced these last time, so not mm. practicing them right now. This is Gu. This is Ge. 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 Go. This is Go. Go. Or Go. There we go. Nice. So that's Dr. Ted. Alright. So I think in just a second we're gonna do our first lesson. Okay. I see, so closed captions are working. My audio is being captured, so yeah. I guess let's try a new lesson. How was my day in town? Oh yes, I am so ready to continue. We saw a talking dog. We stole a guy's life savings that he stuck in a vase in the middle of the town square. And then the game wouldn't even let us give it back to him. And everybody's talking about how much they love Japan. But, um, do they really know Japanese? Like, how can they... Um, anyway. You can now explore the world map and travel to our next destination. Head north out of town to view the world map. We want to visit the Castor Marsh. Oh. Well, that answers my question about, is there a marsh nearby? There is. Alright, Leon and I are ready this time. For reals. Actually, I kind of like how, yeah, you did get a chance to meet the characters, uh, the players, Leon and what's-his-name. And I like how this actually captions, like, the names of the places. So we have a choice. Do we go to the Ghoul Ruins? Do we go to Dorfin Town? Or Castor Marsh? I think let's just go where the game recommended we go. Oh, let's go to the town. Ah, Fine. Fine. Whatever. So this is Castor Marsh. I've lived in Snowleaf Village my whole life, but I never here come near this place. Yeah, well, you're not wrong. This is a boring place. Wait. Well, now it's full of dangerous warriors. But, okay. Why are the warriors attracted to this boring place? Um, also, yeah, shift can help us dash. Um, Alright, we got a buckler. Is that equipable? Um, like... Okay, good. Alright, so I've got Auto Dash turned on, so I don't have to hold the Shift key the entire game. Alright. Woo! Oh dear. Well. Oh dear. So these are the G vowels. I think this is Ga. On the left. And this other one is Gu. Yeah, and I do wonder is there some way I could like replace the soundtrack or something? Uh, perhaps with something. I know this is like a battle theme. Um. Alright, let's verify, did I get this correct? I did. Oh, this is good. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice if I could, like, either disable or uh, change the battle theme to something else. Um, so it's possible... I don't know. Alright, well, we're, we're gonna continue fighting. So, again, this is Ga on the left. Actually, why am I even fighting these? I don't know. Oh, at least it keeps my last answer preference. That's kind of nice. Oh no, look at all this damage we've taken. 
We better go back to the inn. Sure be shame if we learn lost Eric or Leon. Alright. Yeah, I hope that I get, like, weapon upgrades sometime soon. Thank you. Um, this is unfortunate that, like, if an enemy disappears, you don't get a chance to retarget. Um, but yeah, this is Ga. So, we're just gonna answer that, and hopefully the game will give us a turn to attack. Also, I guess this is why I like last playthrough of the game. I focused on targeting uh, just one enemy at a time instead of splitting my answers. That way I could maximize um, my number of turns. Or rather, so if you're targeting every enemy... Alright. Well, this is Ko. We know it's Ko. Uh, so we'll just say Ko. And we'll say it again. And we'll just keep answering this. Yeah, so, admittedly, since I've played the first chapter or such of this game before, I am doing a bit... Oh. Oh, oh. Wait. Well, that's not good. I was gonna say, just look at how awesome I'm doing. Having four characters in the party is not helping in any way, by the way. Uh, this is cool. This is not cool. My mistake. Yeah. Oops. And this is why I wanted to review all my lessons. Alright, there we go. I think perhaps the prospect of taking damage is supposed to excite the player into maybe remembering their lessons. And the way that, like, in 999 and other games, they teach you... Well, they have theories that you remember things better if you're attentive. And so this notion that you're taking damage, I guess, somehow is supposed to excite you. And it does. It really does. Ooh, we got a lot of money. We could pay back that guy we stole the life savings of. Alright, um... But yeah, a dash button that would help even double speed my current dash would help. Alright, this is coup again. We're just gonna escape. We don't have to fight all the warriors. Um. Uh oh. Looks like the bridge is out. Alright. Yep, yeah, looks like we're gonna build a bridge. Alright, it's, it's sorted, then. Wow, we got a proper English speaker on our team. I did not realize this. This is very good. Let's hunt around for some strong logs. Three should suffice. But where to look? Yeah, let's just swim across the thing. Oh, I see. Up there. Alright, we just have to get up there somehow. We swim across this? Nope. We have to walk. Like dignified people. No swimming allowed. And then we have to navigate our way back around after we've collected the logs. Alright, so this is the G series uh, with the Dockerton marks. So we got Ga on the left. I wonder, it seems we get Ga quite a bit. Um, also, yeah, I wonder if I could maybe do a number of things to improve the usability or user experience of this game. Um, if only, I know this is an RPG Maker game, but I do kind of wish that it was open source in a sense. That, like, I could speed up the combat, I could speed up walking around. This tension that it takes so long to do a battle is kind of 
I don't know that it does much. I mean, if you speed it up too much, players are going to struggle to remember any of their experience here or be overwhelmed by it, but um, I do get a sense that, like, this is slightly too slow. Alright, we're taking damage. We're going to have to go back to the inn, like the game was suggesting. Or we just have to let Claire get knocked out. I don't know. Yeah, or I could just start running away from some of these fights. But we are gonna level up soon. Or we did level up just a second ago. But Misaki... Yeah, okay, there's our level up. And we've learned Bless and Reflect, whatever this means. Uh, so... I wonder... Wait, so we have skills. What is Bless here? A weak healing spell. Oh, very good. Alright, that should tide us over for a little bit. Uh, can I go up here? Yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna go evade some battles. I know, like, we learn as we battle, but also... Oh, three Ramina. That's nice. Yeah, we're gonna end up going back to the inn after we collect some of these logs, but... Alright, so this is Ah. Oh my goodness. Why am I having a... Ah, so we'd Ah, E, U, E, O. Um... Hmm... Yeah, we're gonna run and save face. I don't know why I can't remember that second character. That's not good. But, yeah. I wonder how far you could get in this game, just avoiding almost every combat and only doing the required combats. Alright, so you have Gi and Ge, but again, since it takes like a minute every time we battle, we're just gonna run. We're gonna go back to the inn and heal so that we don't... I don't know what lies ahead in this area, but yeah, just gonna take one second to go back here. Go back to Snow Leaf Village, say hi to our innkeeper. Um... Yeah, hello. Yeah, let's stay. Why not? That's a nice little theme. No, we're good. Alright, let's go back. So, that symbol that we just got stuck on... Um... Yeah... Wait... Hmm... Oh, I see. The last time I'd asked for new lessons, the game told us we're gonna go north to the marsh. Instead of allowing me to take the lesson. Unless I just... I'm just forgetting everything. So, we collected three logs. Honestly, logs are very heavy, and because they are wet. Uh, anyway. Yeah, let's build the bridge. Nice. Alright, onward we go. You can sense a strong foe nearby. Oh, good. Yeah, let us save. Alright, what is this place? So the game actually did a good job here, um, heightening your awareness or concern as we approach a new area. Alright, is this where they're summoning all the warriors from? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> That's some cool lawn art. Alright, watch out! 
Yeah, so this game... There is a... Okay, here's Noguro, our good friend. Ha ha ha. How sweet. You come for another round of punishment. Dude, we got a Japanese teacher with us. So, yeah. Alright, so we're showing him that we are so strong. And he summons his allies. Okay. Do not attack him, only attack the warriors. What if I want to attack him? Oh, fine. We're not strong enough. Jeez, really? These are some strange rules, but fine. Um, but yeah, our bottom mark here, this is ah. We're just gonna keep smashing this. I wonder if I'm missing something. Or if it's, oh, okay, I can hit down to navigate to there. Uh, there we go. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's definitely not, uh... Oh, my. Well, rip me. Rip me. Yeah, it would have been good for us to review our lessons. It's good we saved, I suppose. But this could be a while. Um. All right. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, Alright, so... Yeah. I don't know why I completely lost my focus here. Um, I don't understand what I've done. But I've mixed up all of my Ks and my vowel, short vowel sounds. All just in a moment. So, we're going to guess both O and Ko. Uh, because I can't remember. And for all you watching, I'm sure this is a bit frustrating that I don't remember, but we aren't going to go review all our lessons again. We're going to learn the hard way. Um, there it is. We figured it out. Alright, so that one's Ko, and I believe the other one's Ka. So we're just gonna keep hitting Ko. Uh, and this should reduce the number of enemy turns. Yeah, honestly, the fact that enemies have turns, and they don't, like, all simultaneously attack, is what really slows down the battle. Um, oh, he summoned a new ally. Alright, we got, uh, this is Ke over here. Um, yeah, so the unfortunate bit about attacking the same character over and over is that I do lose some turns sometimes. Um, so yeah, let's attack Ke, or, I'm sorry, Ke over here. Yeah, so I think the playtesters noted that if you play optimally, um, you can knock out... Oh, gosh. Well, that's, again, the problem. If I have... If my memory's failing me. Yeah. No. I guess Ke was the one with the vertical mark. The one that looked like an H. Uh, so is this... This is simply eh, not... Yeah, right. This is not boating well. I suppose if I'd taken this, uh, diligent notes and weren't just relying on my memory, this could go a lot better. Um, but then I wouldn't feel that I've learned anything at the end of the day. But I'm not sure that this demonstrates learning either. Like, particularly if I'm failing at it. There we go. Oh, Nobro summons a new ally. Alright, this is 
one of the G vowels. I believe this is Gull. Um, for one of the G characters. Yeah, so I do lose turns when I do such things. Alright, so we're going to actually split our attack this time, even though this might increase the number of times I get attacked. Um, which is why I've been avoiding doing this, but fine. Yeah, I think the fact that it takes more than two hits to take down a character is a bit not ideal for this experience. Yeah, see, now that I've, like, not sent all my party members after the same character, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna have to wait, and wait, and wait. Um, it's really the waiting on the opponent's turn that's a bit concerning. Alright, we're gonna continue fighting. So yeah, Ka is this character here. And then Go is this other character. Um, and yeah, we can practice writing Ka is down around third stroke. And Go is like this one, the Dakuten. This is Gu over here. At least the fundamental aspects of the combat work as they should. Alright, Nobro fled along with his uh, characters. Or warriors. I keep saying characters instead of warriors, but warrior sounds more fun. Alright, he's gone. At least for now. What, did he just get like summoned black back into another dimension or something? Um, yeah, why did we... Okay. Whatever. Alright, let's save our progress and go back and rest. Woo! We learned something. Yeah, so there is something to be said for traveling around. Uh, each time you visit a new area, um, it... I don't know. Like, moving from one area to the next is something that inspires a person. There's a saying that if you walk under a doorway, you will, like, forget things. Or not even a saying, but, like, some study or something that people tend to forget things as they transition from one place to another. So the shifting scenery is supposed to, like, give you different emotions as you are in various areas. I don't really particularly care for the battle soundtrack, it's a bit intense, but I think overall this game's reasonably well designed. Yeah, let's get a new lesson. Alright, we have something special prepared for today's lesson. We're gonna learn some Japanese vocab. Woo! Alright, here we go. We're gonna learn something. We'll mix it up so and learn vocabulary every now and then. Let's cover 10 new words each lesson. As we go, we'll demonstrate how to read and how to pronounce each word. You will see how to write each word in hiragana, based on the hiragana we know so far. Alright, here we go. Hi. And I like already, even though we don't have enough hiragana characters to fully build uh, the word, this doesn't prevent them from, like, breaking it down in this reasonable kind of way. So, yeah. Romaji is a system designed to transcribe Japanese sounds using the English alphabet. Um, yeah, so there's, like, yes, this is plain English at the bottom. Height means yes. Romaji is, like, taking the hiragana characters and, like, English, um, phonetically spelling it. Uh, it's very common. Uh, yes, and we've almost certainly seen it before. Words borrowed from Japanese use romashi, like tsunami, karaoke, sensei, etc. So this is English's way of borrowing Japanese words. 
Uh, it's super simple. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, from my perspective, yes. From the perspective of somebody like who isn't an English speaker, I could see like learning these English characters could be intimidating. But okay. So we learn more hiragana and gain an understanding of the syllables in Japanese. We'll be able to write words in romaji as well as hiragana. Alright, so... We can use the romaji reading until we learn all the relevant hiragana. Alright, so the next line. Here's, uh, hi. So there's gonna be a ha character, and then there's e, right, on the right. This means yes. Right. And this is just to symbolize that there might be a gap between a syllable. You don't actually write them in Yoragana or Romaji. And yeah, then that's the English translation. Alright, how do you pronounce it? Hi. Hi. Remember how E sounds more like E. Yes, yeah, so it's hi. But it's spoken at a rapid pace because Japanese is, in general, spoken at a rapid pace. So that tends to elide syllables. Um, when the sounds of syllables do not change... Wait. A general rule of thumb when speaking Japanese is that sounds of syllables are unchanged regardless of what syllable they follow or precede. So this will always be E. In general. Uh, we all know that English words can change pronunciation in strange ways and may not even be pronounced as they are written. However, in Japanese, every syllable has a specific pronunciation and it's the same in every word it appears in. There are a couple of little exceptions, but at this stage, nothing to be concerned with. Now, uh, we got hi. Let's continue. Second word. Ie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, double E? E means no. I'm confused already. How... So the words yes and no are quite common in English prose. I'm confused why they would write... Why a, a word that means no would have three characters in it. Uh, yeah. But okay. Yeah. When dealing with repeated, uh, you draw out the length of the word. It's not quite the same as repeating the vowel twice. Yeah. Okay, so this... Okay, I could see that. That, for clarity's sake. This is because, um... Yeah, okay. I mean, English does similar things, too, with, like, repeated vowels. I'm just surprised to see it um, in another language that I'm not so familiar with yet. Let's continue. Ia is no. Next I word. Watashi. This is a word from the card captor Sakura song. Very early on in the lyrics. Watashi. We don't actually have any of the hiragana for this just yet. But it's not a substitute for the letter I. It's the word I. Watashi. Watashi. Or watashi. You'll use it often. It's a formal and polite way of introducing the self. Okay. There are more casual words to refer to yourself, but they're safe for chatting with friends and family. Uh, yeah. Let's hear it again. Watashi. Watashi. Let's continue. Word four. Anata. Anata. Meaning you. Anata. You can use this in conversation when talking about your conversation partner. However, it can be considered rude to use it in the wrong context. Most of the time, you refer to people by their name even when talking directly to them. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, did not know that. Anata. Anata. This is a less formal thing than calling a, the other person by their name. Ready for word five? The rest of the words in the lesson are objects used in studying. Pen. Pen. 
Ooh. Who knew? It's yeah. borrowed from English. Pen. Yep. When you write words borrowed from other languages in Japanese, you normally wouldn't use hiragana. Instead, you would use katakana, which are specifically for foreign words. However, this has been adopted into the language. Um. All right. Pen. Pen. Ooh. All right. Enpitsu. Enpitsu. Whoa. A uh, pencil. Enpitsu. All right. Yeah, it's quite a mouthful. There's four syllables, or four characters in Enpitsu. Enpitsu. Oh, that's right. There's no, like, stress on syllables. Um, so yeah, let's just continue. Enpitsu means pencil. Skuget. Skuget. Wait. Desk. Wait, let's hear that again. Skuye. Skuye? Yeah, um, I found it interesting, like, the S and the K kind of allied in Skuye. The... Skuye. Yeah, Skuye refers to a desk. Word eight? Isu. Or isu. Chair. This is a chair. Hon. Hon refers to a book. Hon. 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 All right. Word Noto. ten. Noto. This I've heard before, because they also use the same word for like notebook, computer. Noto. 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 I forgot. You don't stress things in Japanese. All right. Uh, yeah, let's see our progress. Woo! We are making progress. Somehow. It's time to learn our third set of hiragana characters. We got five new characters to learn today. And there will be a quiz. These are sa, shi, su, se, so. All right. The slight exception to this is she which has a soft H sound. Oh. Right. Yeah, I found it interesting they had to add soft H as opposed to just H, but yeah, you're right, that is a soft H sound. Sa, she, su, se, so. Alright, here's our first here's our first character, sa. It's a consonant, followed by a vowel, makes a single syllable. Here we go, let's practice writing it. Stroke across, stroke down, and maybe around, or, yeah. Wow. It looks... That reminds me of another character we've done. Across, down, and third stroke. This is Sa. Tilt the horizontal line properly. Uh, strokes vary based on the font. Use the form of the animation as best practice. Alright. Next is she. She. Alright, let's practice writing it. And it's just like a fish hook. This is she. One more time. Alright. A uh, single stroke. The vertical line is straight, but curve it properly at the bottom. Next character, su. Su. Alright. Oh, right. Unstressed su. That's right. Line across, down, this little curl, and continue down. So this is part of uh, the word we use for... Um, puzzles for checkmate in shogi. We call those sume. So this is su. Stroke across, stroke down, small curl, and continue. Practice writing it. It's two strokes. The tail at the bottom is cursed slightly after the loop. 
Oh, loop is okay. The word they use for that. Fine. Next character, sit. Sit. Or it's unstressed sit. That's right. We don't stress syllables. That is something that's going to repeatedly trip me up. Okay, stroke across, right stroke, left and down, around. All right, cool. This looks even more like an H. That's a C. Vertical line on the right has a slight tail formed uh, when you lift the pen. Next so. character. This is so. so. Let's practice writing it. One more time. Okay, across, down, around. There we go. This is so. Practice writing it. This is a single stroke, despite being a really complex stroke or character. So, sa, shi, su, se, so. These are all quite common, so make sure to memorize them. Uh, yeah, let's save the game. And I think following this... Oh. Well, okay, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, I am quite mistaken then. Wow. Okay, I didn't realize that there's a difference between Su and TSU. Su. Wow. Okay. We learn something new every day. We're going to see some common Japanese words written entirely in hiragana. Sound them out with our knowledge. So, sushi? Sushi. Or sushi. My mistake. Sushi. sushi. Ooh. Very popular dish. It's definitely made it into the States. Uh, yeah. It's quite beautiful. Seven, second Japanese words. Um, okay, wow. Well, this is E on the right. There's this character I've not learned yet. And I am blanking already. I think... Se, se, she? N. All right. Or sensei. Right. Because uh, I just said this is E. So yeah, sensei. 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 Alright. Sensei. Sensei. Yeah, okay. Third word. Um, now, admittedly, I've played this game before, and I was impressed by this one. So, this is Ka. They didn't teach us this one. And then this is O. And this is Ke. So this uh, was karaoke. Or karaoke. Uh, so this is Ra in the middle that we've not learned yet. This is, karaoke. yeah, karaoke. Karaoke. Alright. That's all for our Japanese words for this lesson. Once we've learned more hiragana, we will learn some new words. Oh, the picture's not authentic. Sensei meaning teacher, of course. Yes, yes. And there's our Dakuten marks that softened a K character to a G character. We can use this in our newly learned S series to make Z sounds. So... This is a za. So, yeah, za here with the Dakuten mark in the correct place. Za. Za. This is za. Okay, mm -hmm. this is G. So, this is, instead of being a Z sound, this actually is a J sound. But, um, yeah, this is G. G. No, that's quite fine. Z. 
This is Zhu. Um. Zhu. All right. Let's practice writing Zhu. I'm going to do the loop and put our docu 10 there. And this is Zhu. It's kind of like a cross. Ze. This is Ze. All right, so we write se as normal. I'm sorry, I forget. No, we write the horizontal stroke, right stroke, left stroke, and down. So that's how we write se. It's one, two, three, and docket ten. That's how we make ze. ze. All right, that's fine. So. This is zo. All right. So, yeah, it even kind of looks like a Z. But, yeah, so we write so here. But to write so, we write the character and put Dakuten on it. So. Alright, cool. We finished this set. We've learned ten new hiragana. I'm super excited. Uh, yeah, in this game... Oh, Study Guide 3. I should take a look at some of the study guides at some point. I think that would help me out a bit. All right, that wraps up today's lesson. Great work. <laughs> quiz time. Yep. All right, quiz time. Here we go. Um, let's focus on our quiz. All right, this is she. What is this character? This is a uh, so. What is this character? Uh, this is... Oh. Nice. What is this character? Or for Zu? How do we write Zu? What's this one that we just learned? And for Sa... Um... Now... I mean, this is admittedly easy. I don't like that... This is Dakuten, this is Dakuten, so like we know it has to be this one. The game's kind of giving us a softball here, but I kind of needed it, actually. Um, yep, we completed the quiz. Let's take a break from our study. Yeah. And as the game mentions taking a break from our study, I likewise am taking a break from my study here. I apologize because you uh, have some fantastic uh, comments I'd much appreciate it uh, but yeah I need a break at this point so I hope you all enjoyed this um, and yeah we'll continue our adventure in a bit probably at the beginning of the next uh, section uh, we'll review study guide 3 uh, repeat these notes and then head out into the event uh, whatever the next area is called oh it might be a good idea now to look around for side quests well, that's kind of cool. And talk with people. Yeah, we did talk with people. They had some things to say, but most of what they had to say was pretty brief. But we could try that again sometime. But yeah, I think this would be a good time for me to take a break. So, hope you've all enjoyed this. And yeah, now we know, I think, 20 characters. That's kind of impressive. Well, we know all the short vowel sounds. We know... The ka, ki, ku, ke, ko, usami, the k sounds, the g sounds, the s's, and z's. So that's 25 characters. Although, um, some of them are inflected forms of others. So, yeah, we're getting there. We've got more characters to learn. We'll be, uh, making some good progress next time. Thanks for watching.